What up, my people? Adolis Garcia is a player that you should follow his steps. Let's watch a little interview before we talk about him. Oh, and LNBA. LeBron. So who, who is his, his favorite player? LNBA. Obviously. LeBron. 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 Yeah, Who's your favorite right now? Kobe Bryant. Le he said Gorro? Gorro, Goto. He's he saying Gorra. Gorra. Yeah, he meant hat. What is his so favorite so hat that he ever so used? Hat. Of course, bro. Take oh, the no. Yankees. They're going to say Houston. Color. Blue. Yeah. Azul. <laughs> Your favorite color, blue? Blue, obviously. ¿Cuántas cadenas tiene en su colección? En todo. Solo tres. ¿Solo tres? Sí, solo tres. How many chains do you have in your collection? Just three. Well, for now. For now, because they have all to go in contract. Well, you like, that's good. Flow? Sí, mucho flow, mucho flow. ¿Cuál es tu máximo de bench press y squats? ¿Qué has hecho? I don't know. Wait. Something about a uh, baseball player, Latino baseball player, we like we like a lot of chains. I feel like he has that because a lot of Latinos it's get that. Swag. A lot of that gives you swag. Wow. Yeah, they like chains. Yeah, it's swag. Flow. Mucho flow, a lot of flow. He asking how much he bench or squat. <laughs> What's your favorite lift? Huh? Movimiento. Oh, uh, yeah, bench press, but I don't know how much. Quantas batting gloves usas en un temporada? 60, 60, 60. Okay. Damn. That's a lot. That's a lot of batting gloves. He used one for every game. People, if you got some batting gloves you want to send us, let us know. Send it to us. Hay mucho, hay mucho. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que lanzaste? Lanzar como Lanzar, pitcher? Sí. Tenía 16 años. 16 años en Cuba. ¿Y cuánto uh, es lo más duro? 93. 93? Yeah, yeah. Impressive, bro. 93, 94. Really? He asked him, what, what was, when, uh, when was the last time that you pitched? Uh-huh. And he oh, said, yeah. yeah. he was in Cuba, I was 16, and he used was to he throw 93, 94. Ooh. Awesome. Is that all? Hey. I like Adolis. I like Adolis. He got the arm, man. But let's talk about his story. His story is the most incredible part about him. He, he, come, he came from Cuba, all the way from Cuba. All the way from um, Cuba, and that, that's not easy. That's Living not easy, family yeah. out there. With the all the situation, government situation that they have there, ooh, it's not easy. But this guy made it, 2017. And the Cardinals gave him his first opportunity, and he made it. He made league. his debut to the major leagues with the Cardinals. But guess what? He didn't do well. He didn't do well with the Cardinals in his debut, so he probably was about to lose his career. Two hits. And just two hits in 21 games, so it wasn't good at all. So the Cardinals just wanted to trade him, and the Rangers got him. He got to the Rangers, the Texas Rangers. And 2019, that wasn't? No. 2019, after spending all 2019 uh -huh. in the minor league. There we go. The Cardinals trade Garcia, Garcia to the Rangers, to the Rangers for, yes. for cash. For I uh, it was not too much cash, just a little bit. Just just to, some to have somebody. And he made his debut with the Rangers. In 2021. 2021. And it seems like he didn't do he wasn't doing well that first time because they as uh, he got they got, how you say it? Assignment. They put in a non roster yeah. player camp. Uh -huh. and, him and nobody back. wanted him. The 29 teams, nobody wanted him. So, you know, your career is about to be over by this time. But guess what? The Rangers decided to just keep him and get him back again to the majors. And guess what? He was the rookie of the year. So he makes some adjustment hitting. And we talk about that video. Look, look around. We talk about... What he used to do in the Cardinals and what he's doing now as a mechanic way. Well, he was played fourth in the Rookie of the Year voting. So he was almost a Rookie of the Year. And selected for the All-Star game. But two years later now, he's just won the American League MVP in the postseason. That's big. What a beast. He can write That's, a book. He can write a book. And now he's about to win a World Series. And he's being a big part of the team. 
of the success. Hitting bombs the in the clutch moment. So this is teaching you that you should never ever think about quitting. If you got a dream in your head and you got a, a your mindset of doing something, manifest it and don't quit. Just keep going, keep going, keep going because you never know. You have to be tough over here before before you be tough on your body, like uh, be the strongest guy. You can be the strongest, but you don't got this. And this, I'm talking about be able to make adjustment, be able to understand that you're going to fail, understand that maybe your time is not today and you can do it tomorrow. You know, baseball is like that. He he was a few years back and nobody won him, kind of. And then out of nowhere, he makes some switch. And well, let's go. And, and he knew how to handle the pressure because the pressure on him was Woo. over the roof. The pressure But situation right here with him. If you think about it, all this that happened to him, he for good because now he's in the playoff, he's in the worst series, he making he, he doing damage because he created a base yes. for all the struggles that he had in the past to get to where he at. So he's not going to waste no time, no opportunity. Because he already feel that he went through those opportunities before. And he know what is to feel rejected. So sometimes some of y'all need that in your life. Feel rejected. Feel like nobody wants you. So you understand what is that. So you can work harder and don't waste your opportunities. So he already passed that. So he's not wasting any opportunity today to be in the World Series and maybe win it. Yeah. All right. My people, use this as an example. Never quit. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.